let's start with nutrition. And the way I think about nutrition and ketones is flipping the metabolic switch. If you're in ketosis, really truly in ketosis, and you only know that if you finger prick blood test, but if you really are, you have flipped the metabolic switch. And this is a primitive switch. It's been in human history for tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years. And the reason it exists is to prevent us from dying in the case of starvation. So when the hunting and gathering was poor, you would die in two days. But we all know humans can live for 40 days at least without food. Some can live 50 or 60. Well, how can we do that if I said you would die in two days? It's because your brain would die due to the loss of glucose. The brain takes 25% of your energy and it's only 2% of your mass. So without the ketones, the brain dies and you die. And this is the reason why we can fast and it's the reason why we're all here. There wouldn't be humans without this metabolic switch. You don't want the animal to perform worse, you want it to perform better. So hence many of the advantages of the ketogenic diet come into play and that's why we have them. Brain function, huge. Liver, muscle, major uh, benefits. Health span is what you want. Lifespan is great, but not without health span. This function works the same in mice and people, but the ketogenic diet regulated the mTOR C1 complex in a tissue specific manner. And mTOR is one of those things that you elevate with heavy weightlifting, you elevate it with protein, but you don't want it always high. If you do something, either through drugs or other things, that constantly elevate mTOR, then you have a markedly shorter lifespan. And this is everything from worms to people. So you want mTOR up in muscle and low elsewhere. Now, something that gets missed with older people is protein. And a lot of people in ketogenic diets are terrified of protein. And this is because the diet evolved from the original early version. And as you get older, you need more protein, not less. You want grandma to be cutting into a big old steak, right? So old people need more protein because their bodies can't use the protein anywhere near as efficiently. So the current RDA or IDI for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body mass per day. Ketogenic diet. There's healthy and unhealthy ketogenic diets. Prove It is about doing better.